Now to some news this morning out of Los Angeles. Los Angeles Clippers coach Ty Lue has agreed to a new long-term contract that will make him the NBA's highest paid coaches, or one of them, sources told our senior insider Adrian Wojnarowski. Now Lue, who had one year left on his contract, has gone 184 and 134 in his four seasons with the Clippers, which is the sixth best in the NBA in that stretch. Never fear. Woj is here as we dive into this a little bit further in L.A. How were both sides able to come to this agreement for the Clippers here? Yeah, this deal, I'm told, takes Ty Lue through the 2029 season at about $14 million a year. That certainly puts him in the upper echelon of coaches. You've seen some recent deals. Eric Spolstra at about $15 million. Monty Williams just south uh, of Ty Lue at uh, around thirteen seven five, mm -hmm. And so he's now tied up to the Clippers New Intuit Dome opens up next season. Kawhi Leonard signed, and obviously this is an organization that would like to still keep uh, Paul George and, of course, uh, uh, James, James Harden. Harden. Yeah. And so, uh, listen, the Clippers, Steve Ballmer, Lawrence Frank, they were determined to keep Ty Lue, and he's wanted to continue to be a part of this. He said at the end of the season, I don't want to be bouncing around organizations. They know this is a committed organization living in LA you know being a part of it and so I think really over the last few weeks the Clippers and you know Ty Lue's agent Andy Miller with Clutch Sports you know they zeroed in on this deal and, and landed here on it uh, in the last couple days. So Ty Lue's deal wrapped up and done you mentioned Kawhi Leonard which we saw happen over the season but a month from today Paul George has to decide whether or not he is going to uh, opt into that or decline that player option and become an unrestricted free agent. What do you think he should do Perk? Man, it feel like he, he, he has some leverage here on the Clippers, right? Because you think about what they traded to get for Paul George, right? SGA, and how many picks was it, uh, Woj? Too many. That they sent Oklahoma <laughs> City? A, a historical. <laughs> you. you see what I'm saying? So it's like, who, who else is out there that you could replace Paul George with to put alongside Kawhi Leonard? So they almost have to be committed, and he to me it seemed like he has some leverage. I don't know how many dollars he want, but... I'm pretty sure he might get somewhat close to it. It just comes down to the number, right? Because we saw Kawhi Leonard sign for just less than the max. So seeing how all of that kind of configures for them.